right. Welcome to my house. Just, we've um, getting a laminate floor here. We had um, free carpet put in the house. But uh, we're getting a laminate put down now. So my mate Jason, who you, you've all seen on the videos, is coming at the weekend. So stripped out the carpet, took the grippers up, or what have you, everything's gone. Discovered this. The internal wall has been left in and just a bit of a damp cloth put over it. That shouldn't be the that should be low and the concrete should go across the wall and then you build back on top of it. But that's not the main issue. The main issue is this. The um the crippers around the front door were rusty. So when we uncovered it, we had bits bits of lino stuffed in there like that. To cover that gap for the carpet fitters to go over with the carpet. But it was covering the cold bridging strip, which everyone who watches our videos knows about. That should be there. And that wall shouldn't be there at all. There's no DPM under here. The flags, because it's um, level access, are higher than our floor. Got a bit of a damp there. The bricks, as you can see, are damp, obviously, because they're underground. No DPM, as I say, and the brickwork's here. No damp cross on top of the brickwork. Brick damp cross is cut off here. There's the DPM off the floor. There's the damp cross. There's the DPM cut off there. So, this is a two year old house by a so called five star builder. So, Gleason, what a load of shit. So, Gleason, not impressed whatsoever. So, Luckily it's my own house, so I can sort it myself. So the top course is coming out tomorrow. And this DPM is going to be dropped down. We're going to put a new cold pigeon strip into the charms and across the door. And I'm going to re put a new damp DPM under it that laps up to here. And then we're going to re-concrete it nice and level for Jason. But um, yeah, that is just ridiculous. We're lucky these bricks aren't wet. Everything else was wet, all that's wet. There was stuff down the cavity and then a bit of sand cement over the top. Yeah, it's awful. Really shoddy. So there you go. That is why you concrete into the doorways. You don't stop there. You don't have brickwork. Concrete goes right across. So I'll leave it there.
out. Took it down, 150. And we've got 19 mil polish down here for the cold bridging. And there's the polished area. It's only 75 mil slab because it's block and beam floor. So really this should go down another 225, but I'm not I'm not going down any deeper than that. A good 18 mil of insulation is going in there. Plus the uh, cold bridging strip around the outside. I'm gonna put a vis screen in now. Put the polished iron in, then put the second vis screen in and get it all taped up ready for tomorrow. I'm getting the concrete in tomorrow. Not doing that tonight, it's like 20 to 9 now, it's ridiculous. And then I'm going to bag that up. Let's take that to tomorrow's job because we have a skip on the job. So, yeah, I'll put you back on time lapse while I get this bit done. It's turned into a how to fix a botch upon your house. o'clock believe it or not just tidied up now wasn't expected to be doing that tonight so sure what we've done all oh, the crap's gone now three bags of rubbish there's our fish screen for our concrete which is taped onto the existing fish screen so it's continuous and then the concrete will butt up to this concrete um, cold bridging strip, got 19mm uh, there because that's all we had in the garage. We used to use 25 now. But then that's that. And then our concrete's going to be 65mm, which is a sample for this little bit here. I went for more insulation instead. So we've got about 80, 90mm of insulation, which is better than nothing, which was there before we had a, br a brick wall. Sand and cement, rubble, no DPC, no DPM, and the brickwork leveled the floor. So no wonder we've got cold spots and and um, rusty nails in the grippers. So I'll show you I'll show you tomorrow when it's all done. I'm gonna get a bit mix a bit up tomorrow and get it done tomorrow. Quick update, I've been busy sorting the tyre out in the car huh? while Alex has knocked this up in the barrow. Oh, well. I'm just going to put in now and then I'm going to get it levelled and I'll give it a nice flow to once it's finished. Yeah, get a spirit level and actually screed it off the original floor. Yeah, I'm going to do that, yeah. Get it nice and flat for Jason. Mm -hmm. So it should have been doing in the first place, only all at the same time. Oh. This is part of the YouTube video. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Nice bit of concrete going in, nice strong concrete. Cold bridges strip in the right place. Two damp courses. So now that'll be clean, dry and warm. 
everything it wasn't before. <laughs> Catch you in a bit.